Yo, yo, SMTT, our first ever motorbike show. As you can see, we got a array of motorbikes here um, from the Toxic Riders. We're going to be talking to some of the, the riders, um, the presidents. But we, 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 I think we got the whole clique down here today. So, yeah, we're going to be talking to them. I think we're going from here, we're going to Coover. There's a biking event down in Coover. So... We're going to get some footage down there as well. So hopefully some mad footage. Hopefully just, not just me, but you're going to see other presenters on this show as well. Other people talking to um, bikers. Because you're probably sick of my face. I'm sick of my face. I want to get other people doing what I'm doing. That's what KV TV is about. Not about the Englishman doing the show. It's about other Trinidadians from Kelly. And if not from Kelly, from outside Kelly, making... TV programs. So yeah, if you're interested, please, please get in touch with us. So yeah, bikes. Today is bikes. Today is toxic riders. Today is Kufa. Big. All right. We're here with a couple of toxic riders. As I understand, we're here with a president and another gentleman from the toxic riders as well. Okay, right. So, if you want to introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about the Toxic Riders um, and where we're going today. Okay, well first let me explain the acronym TOXIC. Trinbago Organization of Extreme Iconic Champion Riders. That's what TOXIC mean. It doesn't mean that the guys are set of alcoholics or they're on drugs or anything like that. Okay, well then I must say that the Toxic Rider is one of the premier motorcycle groups in Trinidad and Tobago. We have guys riding in the Toxic Riders for approximately over 30 years. Almost all the riders have been riding for over 20 years. We as the Toxic Riders promote safe riding. We try to have real fun. We ride almost always on a Sunday and we are well recognized by other biking groups in the country. As the, toxic, as, as the president of the Toxic Rider, we are trying to inculcate new membership into the group. However, you have to be a biker for over, let's say, about five years. We are not bringing in green bikers into the group as yet. They have to have some sort of experience in riding because, as you would notice, most of the bikes here are big sickles. We hardly ever ride anything under 750. So we try to maintain that. And more so, we try to maintain a group of mainly sport bikers. However, it is not only limited to sport bike riding. We also have a couple uh, cruisers with us, more senior gentlemen, more senior than myself. So Mr. English, uh, we would further continue this conversation or this interview down at Nisha Bar, where the toxic riders are having a bike show today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Hold on, Mr. Treasurer, one second. Just want to get a few words. Mr. Akirasi, what bike do you ride? Uh, good day, I ride a, a ZX-14, which you can, you can see. Take a look at it. Okay. It's a customized ZX-14. It's a little stretch, drop low. And we want to say, we want to promote safety. Safety is our number one priority. We have my son, rides a 850 Yamaha. My, my elder boy rides a, a 600. You want to say? To all the, the newcomers, take your time on the road, obey the traffic laws, and be safe. Right, by bar. Real bikes. Real bar. Nishaba. Real people on the house right now. This is the new 
the new squad here is certainly toxic. Plus, we have your own crew, we call in the underdogs, aka Tattoo Shop one time, don't forget it. Right? Nice. No, we had to advertise too. So, we let all of them know when they see this. The bike crew, the owners bike crew, are on a tattoo shop on the dogs. We come in. You see the real bikes outside here. I don't have VIP parking, but this is one of the machines here. Sweet too bad. next best thing after woman. All right, don't forget it. Don't forget it. Again, all you are now I'm drinking. Come inside, Kade. Come inside. Come inside. Say something. Yes, we'd like to thank KV TV for coming all the way here to beg up the bike crew. There's something that Trinidad don't pay too much attention to and we find it lacking so with you and Zos we want to try and bring it to Paradise Motorsports you know get it more on the map hey brother uh, how do like the restaurant? how do like it? for Nisha having a nice thing like this and we, are, we, we like all it to be coming and do it more and more like every right, right that's one of the locals here yeah? yes I, I am a very um, nice computer with she and I like what she'll be doing you ride bikes? I love it. Do you ride? Yes. My, I, I like off the what, road. What like kind of BMX? Off, off the road. Huh? Like the, you mean road? off the road like when you fall? When All you right. Off the road, Personally speaking, them road bike. I love the road bike. Right. But most, most more thing, you see them. Or the you trail see, bike. You see trail bike? Right. I love the trail bike. Yeah. You see what Gupti Lachman Yal do? That's my cousin. You understand? And when he ran into the ramp, I used to head to the after. And my mother and my father used to go across the thing and say, what man is he doing, man? Yeah. This guy now, um, I'm... They used to tell you, don't fucking do that. That's what they used to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you can send yeah. the um, yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> I, the, uh, no, I, I, I don't really like Ian Allen. Uh, how you... Fuck Ian Allen. Yeah. SMCC KBCV. Big. I am Hulk Hogan, the Vice President of Toxic Riders. And um, what I want to say is that, um, but I don't know what issues the, the president has raised here, but I want to say that cycling, motorcycling is an expensive sport. It's a very expensive sport. It's a real nice sport, it's very expensive, and it entails real dangers. And if you, and if you want to be a cyclist, you have to know that there's a lot of dangers involved in riding. You understand? So people watch bikers and they feel when well, you know they're full as mad. But we are not mad people. We enjoy, we, 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 we live as people who are People who are yacht, these yacht bo boaters, you understand? People who have these fast boats, you understand? These fast cars, they are not mad people. They enjoy life. So that's the same way we enjoy life as being bikers. But it, it entails more risk than these people who do these things. <laughs> Right, as I said, we're going to be here with some of the females who's interested in bikes. I see from the outfit that I, I think you're, you're a cyclist yourself? Uh, yeah, a biker, yes. Okay, so you want to introduce yourself? What's your name? Uh, Faro Hussein Boas. Okay, so what bike do you ride? Uh, 250 Yamaha Supermoto. Okay, is, is it here? Do you want to show us? Oh, we have to walk across. Okay, well, forget that, forget that, forget that. <laughs> I presume it's a nice bike. It is a lovely bike. How long you been riding? Um, about four years. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, what what got you into the whole riding thing? Um, well, my first experience was when I went to Bago once about um about four years ago, and um, I actually went on a bike ride. Uh, as a pillion rider and I realized that I said right I don't want to be a pillion rider I want to ride a bike so after that was it I I wanted to be the rider and it has been absolutely wonderful since then I'm thinking of getting a bike someone told me I should set off on a scooter but I'm thinking scooter ain't for me what if I was getting a bike what bike would you recommend for me as a first time rider um, I would recommend what was recommended to me to start off with a trail bike um, and work your way up from there. What's a trail bike? I don't even know what that is. Uh, well, trail bikes are smaller bikes generally that you ride off road. Um, oh, right, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. And a supermoto is just simply more or less a trail bike that was converted or made for the streets. They're absolutely 
Um, there's so much fun to ride. Um, because it's so much more maneuverable and so on. Okay. Yeah. So, this is going uh, on Kelly Village TV on the internet. Is there anyone in Trinidad, around the world, that you want to say a big hello, a big shout out to, friends, family, anyone? Oh yes, definitely. I would like to make a shout out to my son, Ethan Bowes. Okay. Right? And um, hopefully in the future when he gets into biking, it will be safe biking. I oh, so you're training him from now, yeah? Yeah, he's into it from now. We're here again once again, it's me. Cody, interviewing some more the riders in the Trinidad here. Go to do this thing nice, make sure everybody gets to understand what it is we're about when they see it with two reels, right? So I'm going here with our next version here, Mike's here. We're going to ask him a little questions and get a little more in-depth. Andy is his name, we're going to get a little more in-depth knowledge on the bikes, right? Andy, tell me a little something, where you're from, how long you're riding, what you're riding. Uh, 14 years now riding. I, what you Harry Paul, what are you the first man to start riding in Trinidad, my uncle and them. I've been riding 14 years now. And my, I run with my cousin and them, you see the toxic crew, that's my family, that's my blood. These people and them, boy, the best of the riders you'll ever find in the Caribbean. Now nobody else can beat them. See what we're doing here? This is something I want to see in the whole of the Caribbean. Not here only, not in Trinidad only. You understand? Because the government, we gonna work for them, don't worry, we gonna fix that. The CGSXR, fully rebuilt from engine on the ground to the suffering. Go and take a little look at them, a little interview with one of my personal classmates who evolved just like myself, you know. Evolve is the word I use because it's from BMX to car and then onto two wheel, not pedaling again. Eh? Come like you walk across the road, they so English. They Rockstar Nation, they some of the members is a very big squad and all, just like the Toxic. They my personal classmate from school also. I go and go a little introduce here. There's my boy called Chubby. Right, Chubby, tell you a little something where you're riding, how long you're riding, how far all the all crew come from. Um, I've been riding as a group about three, four years now. Um, we come up with the Rockstar Nation thing because originally we was all Suzuki. And I'm um, a no Rockstar drink, sponsored the Suzuki thing, but then we incorporate some men with Yamaha and them kind of thing. And um, that's how we incorporate the, the Rockstar Nation. Um, besides the riding thing, all of his friends, personal, we don't ride all the time. Sometimes we drive, but we still one family, it's friends, we're friends, you know what I mean? That's like the key word, eh? one family eh? is a different love when you see on two wheel to four wheel, right? So this is what we're talking about right now in Kuva. I can't remember the name of the bar again, we're drinking and not soda water. So I'll take it now because a little hour again, I'll can't talk to me, right? I'll enjoy the rest of the evening. We have more bikes to show you, we have more people to show you. This is how we do it on two wheels. And remember this, don't ride faster than the angels could fly, right? <laughs> Right, yeah, start on me. Right, Street Mechanicals TT. I told you we we're gonna bring you some nice ladies. Carib girls, Carib girls. Hello, what is your name? Amanda. Okay, so how long have you been a Carib girl? About a year now. About a year? Yeah. I bet you enjoy it. Of course. All right, okay. So, are you interested in biking at all? Do you ride or anything like that? I like bikes, but I don't ride. Okay. Any desire to? No. All right. What, what, a bit too dangerous for you? I broke my leg. I got hit by a car riding. Oh, gosh. How long ago was that? I was 11. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we can understand why she's a bit tentative about riding a bike. I don't think you're filming me, Bobby. You're filming something else, then. Yeah, yeah. Keep you on. All right. All right. Now, um, just want to ask you, if someone wanted to be a Carib girl, what did they have to do to be a Carib girl? Personality. Right. You have to be able to fit into the short pants. Whoa, whoa. Now you can film the short pants. Film up the short pants. Yeah. Yeah, you see what I'm saying there? Right. Uh, most of the time, personality, you have to be outgoing, understanding as well. Okay. And they had to love Carib. Of course. Of course. I ain't going to say nothing about the other beer right now. I ain't going to say nothing about that at all. All right. This is going international. Anyone in the world you want to say a big shout out to or hello to? My bro, he lives in England. In England? From the Englishman as well. Okay, whereabouts in England? Not too sure, he's going to school over there right now. Okay, okay. Well, big thank you. Big thank you. Hopefully we're going to try and get a few of the rest of the Carib girls, but 
Looking sweet. Huh? I said you're looking sweet. You're looking sweet, darling. Thank you. Right. I'm SMTT. I'm Elliot from the Toxic Riders. I would like to introduce one of my goodly friends. He is known for his drifting on his bike. It's a, it's a, it's a super motorbike. Uh, what they call semi street, semi trail. It's really, really high powered. And uh, I would like him to mention some things about his adrenaline on his bike and what he does. Kevin. Thank you, Redo. I'd just like to thank um, Redo for inviting me here, here on the Toxic Crew, and let me be a part of the, the, the Toxic Lime. All right? Um, he inquired, well, what do I do on my bike? Not much at all. I do a little burnout. Then I do a um, wheelie in, and the, the big thing is the drifting. Drifting is my main event, okay? Um, but big up to all toxic riders. Be safe and be careful, and God's blessings. I just want to ask you, how long did it take you to learn the skills? I mean, like, to, to do a donut, how long did that take you to learn? Okay, when it comes to time, huh? um, if you keep at it, the more you ride, the better you get. I've been riding since I'm a teenager. And then I stopped for about 15 years and I started back about 10 years ago. But I've only been doing this stuff about three years now. Oh, so, distance. yeah, the stunts about three years. I used to be a motocross rider before. Okay. So all that's in my system too, you know. But be good and be careful. Okay, thank you. I, I just want to ask the two of you. You're yeah. both bikers. All right, we got this show here at Nusha's Bar in Coover. What's the other sort of like motorbike or mo mo motorcycle scene in Trinidad? Where are there other shows like this? I mean, like to me, this is just a road outside a bar. Where can people go and properly demonstrate their biking skills in Trinidad? Whoa, right now we don't have arena. Well, that's what we're waiting for right now from the Ministry of Sports. We want them to put on a proper facility for us where bikers could go and where there's drag racing, stunt riding and set up a proper uh, st um, spectator stadium. Right. So these things need, we need these things. That is why you see these events occurring at the bars. We actually need stuff like that. Okay, proper facilities, traffic lights, proper um, ambulance. You know, everything well planned. That's what we need right now in Trinidad. Hold on. I must say, uh, on behalf of that question, that, I mean, there's a lot of guys practicing, training, modifying all their bikes and their time. And I mean, it, it, it's a really, high risk sport and after all all this has been done we don't have a place to go other than on the streets it's really really ridiculous it's really really uh, really poor on our side as, as as bike riders and everything that after after all these after all after all this we don't have a place from from Toxic Riders, I'm Elliot. Thank you. Yes, yes. We need somewhere to ride. We need somewhere to race. We need somewhere to show the skills. Please, Trinidad government, provide for the people, provide for the bikers, provide for the riders, the car riders. We need something, we need a track. Yeah? SMTT. <laughs> Well, now we're talking, now we're getting lively on SMTT. We have got another female biker. Do you want to introduce yourself? Fine. Hi, my name is Amanda Parada and I'm from South Trinidad and I have such a passion for motorcycles. You see, the breeze in your face, it's the breeze and the power between your knees, that's all it's about. Whoa, I like that talk there. Would you like to interview her, Dad? Come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> this is her father. You want to say hello? Hi, hi, hi. What's happening? You're a biker as well? Also. Okay, what bike do you drive? Uh, 1100 Shadow and 750 Nighthawk. What, what bike is there is? Okay, and uh, what bike do you drive? I have the 700 Honda Shadow Cruiser. <laughs> yes. All right, and how long have you guys been driving? Well, actually, I've been told I've been riding since I was in my mom's belly. Yeah, yeah. Right, so it was only natural for me to come out with a, to come out on top of a bike and stay on top of a bike. So I've been riding licensed rider for about 13 years. I'm almost 30, 13. And how old is your kid? My baby's 18 months and she's already got a year. 
You see that? You see that? We try to keep it in the family, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's what that's what we want to hear. That's another toxic rider. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're bringing them in. We're bringing them in. All right, this is international, worldwide. Anyone you want to say hello to anywhere around the world? I would like to say hello to all my friends in Canada. I just returned to Trinidad. I love you guys. I'd like to say hello to my special person, Bruno Dante. He loves Black Ops. And I would like to know, the, the, the public to know that you don't have to free a biker because first thing I'm going to see a biker, they say, you're full of riding a bike, but you're a crazy man, you know. Or look what she. But I just told me, I just work, I used to work on a before, now I work in taxi. And I just tell people, I just feel more safe on my bike than in my car. I feel it's safer on my bike, and they just say that's opposite to where they think. But I just tell them that, oh, you never ride on a bike, so you don't know how, how, how it is. From SMTT, I'm Elliot. We are here at Nishaba. Right now, we're going, going to in, interview the man called Fish, the, a great stuntman here in TNT. Amateur. Uh, I'm a, uh, I would not say amateur, but I mean, he's good. His adrenaline is really hyped. And I must say, we're going to get a breakdown from Fish that what it takes, uh, what, what it feels like to be one of these stuntmen in Trinidad and Tobago. Fish. Okay, okay, thank you. First. First of all, we want to say thanks to God. Toxic Riders, Hood Riders, 6 out of 10, which is Horsey Group, that give me support. When younger riders coming out, they all get support with the front by groups. And it is, a, it is a unity, it is an understanding that, that assists us to, to go along. Yeah, watch this now, watch this. This is big things. Man, all standing up to order. What's going on here? Standing on the petrol tank. Big. This is some kind of different stunt. I wonder if this man can do this when the bike is actually moving. Man told me to make some room for him because he want to go on the bike and thing, but that was big. Watch this now, watch this dismount. Oh. Okay, we are here with a gentleman here who's just told me that he's got his own bike show in South. What, what, what part of South? And before, before we talk about that, introduce yourself. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is, uh, nickname is George. Everybody know me as George. Okay, okay. So what part of South is your bike show? In Simeville and Okay. And what, what's the frequency? How often? Well, I only do once a year, which is, um, like, you know, once a year, just that, you know, every bikers could come along there and have a free, you know, let's enjoy yourself. So how, how do they find out about it? Is it like advertised at all or is it? As, as yeah, I advertise it. I do advertise it, you know. But, you know, it's not like a congested thing that, you know, people could tell you, leave and it's not like here we, we have problems. So, you know, we have time limit out there, you know. Or there, you know, we could just come along there and... Enjoy yourself. Okay, so when is the next bike show down by you? Well, my next bike show will be like around maybe January month, January, February month around there. Okay. Usually, like before December month, like maybe early December on the whole something, you know, to pay tribute to, not um, like to give out little treats to children. You know, it's not like only we come out here and we drink here and stuff. That you know, we want to. I want to have a little treat for little turns. You know, so I want to do it around 
But I, I want to know if someone who doesn't know about your bike show, where do they find out about it? Where do they hear about it? Where, where do they hear the, the exact date the next one is? Well, definitely my, my next big bike show. It's not a bike show, it'll be our line. That every biker, you know, when they come along there, you know, pay for nothing to eat or something. Everything free food. And you can come there and just enjoy yourself. But it'll be definitely February month. Okay. Alright, definitely February month. Have you got like a, a Facebook, YouTube or internet account? Well, um, I, I ain't do that yet, but... Most do, do, do you want to give like a contact number or anything? Yeah. 463 6486. You come down, George, you know, and like almost like every other weekend we just have down there. Electric Blue, Sign Blue, and Penal. Okay, this is international, worldwide. Anyone around the world, anyone in Trinidad you want to say hello to, friends, family? Well, depends. Well, friends, my friends were driving, man. Like Kenny and. Yeah, big enough, the one wheel crew. We all from Separia. Be, uh, yeah, deep down and south. We ride, we stunt, we like riding, we live to ride. Alright, yeah, we only shoot on Electric Blue, the time in Penal. And what bike you got there? Aaron. The Aaron. What's that? Oh, sorry, I'm totally literate when it comes to bikes. The Aaron, the limited Shannon Aaron, the Ribbon. What, so, so what, what is that? Yamaha or Suzuki? Yamaha. What? Okay, alright, okay. So the you see it there? The man is bussing a Yamaha Raven. Yeah. Right. Big respect for the interview. Thank you. I told you. I told you we're going to get some more Carib ladies. And here they are. Looking lovely. Hello. Hello. Carib lady. Carib lady. What is your name? Uh, my name is Giselle. Giselle. Yes. So how long have you been a Carib lady, Giselle? Approximately eight months. Enjoying it? Yes, I am. Okay. What, have, have you traveled the world or just in Trinidad? Just in Trinidad. Okay. Do you intend to travel the world? Hopefully. Okay. With Carib? Yes, with Carib. Okay, so you get to go around everywhere then, yeah? Yeah, we're all over. Cool, cool. Loving, loving the um, little pin in there. Thank you. Looking very, very nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is your name? I am Andrea. Andrea? Yes, I am. And so, so whereabouts are you from? I'm from Digger Martin. Okay, okay, so once again, what, what did you do to become a Carib lady? Well, actually we had a casting where we had to be placed in front of three Carib reps where they asked a few questions just to see your personality as well as, well, I mean, it's based on your physique as well as personality, so it's not only about looks because we must be persons that somebody can approach and we can smile and always be friendly. So, I guess it's an all wrong package. So, um, okay. The, the, the next lady I know is Amanda, because you've already interviewed her. We didn't ask you before if you want to say hello to anyone around the world. Did you ask me? And I, I did. You know what? I've interviewed so many people today. I don't know what I've asked who and what, you know. But have you enjoyed yourself today? Yes, I have. It's been great. It's yeah. been absolutely great. And this lady here. Hello. 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 What's your name? Sally. Sorry? Sally. Sally. Sally, so, so why why did you become a Carib girl? I enjoy and I enjoy beer, Carib beer, best beer, best Caribbean beer, Carib. Okay, now we didn't ask you if you want to say hi to anyone in the world, who, who's it going to be? Friends, family? Everybody in Trinidad, best Caribbean island, Trinidad. Once again, like... We want to see some shaking. We want to see some shaking. Come on. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm telling you, with the Caribbean. Wine in, wine in. Lovely. SMTT, KBCV. Big. He's not toxic because he don't drink. So he just says he's not toxic. That is Ramdin Moti. One afternoon we was coming from Toko and we stopped at Valencia. And the way he see me drinking and getting on, he say, all you're toxic. So that kind of originated the name, Toxic Riders. SMTT, here right now, a gentleman called Mad Max. We, I have just seen do some seriously mad things on a bike. Like 
kickoff mad. Like seriously, off the scale, mad. You, where, where on earth did you learn to do that kind of thing? Well, I just create my own tricks and look at the Americans, learn some tricks and add my own little stuff to it. So, so, so where, where did you practice all that kind of thing? Um, in a car park, Malabar Stadium. For how long? A couple of years, well. Listen, Dread, them thing looking fantastic. You should be on TV, Dread. Yeah, yeah, well, thanks for my sponsor here. All right. Do you, do you, uh, hello, Mr. Rafis. Rafis. Okay, you, what, you, you got a shop or? Okay, okay, so you're just sponsoring this man here? Okay. Um, I want to ask you, this is going international, worldwide. Uh, anyone you say want to say hello to, big shout out, friend, family? No? No problem. Got a next lady here. Next lady here, Ki Kiva. You've seen her on KVTV before, Kiva Carnival Queen. How you doing, Kiva? You enjoying today? Yes, I am. What brings you down here? Motorbike. Motorbiking. <laughs> yeah, motorbiking. Love it. Love it. I love a bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ladies seem to love motorbikes, man. And it's, you know, I can answer. That's why I want to get a bike. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. All right. All right. Anyone worldwide? It's going worldwide. Anyone you say, want to say hello to? So I'd like to say a special good night to all the bikers in Trinidad and Tobago and just a little word of advice, just be safe because we have been having a lot of accidents recently and I'd just like for safety and love and to keep the bike love. <laughs> Here we have a lady, lovely lady, who is um, into bikes from, as I understand, Extremely young age. How young? We was like five years when we started going on a bike. My father had a, his first bike was a small Triumph 125 going going up. And from small age, she teach us to ride. Me and my sisters and brother, we grew up into bike. He had a, like ten bikes he buy before we learned to ride. We growing big, and he's one of the members of the Trinbrigo Island Riders. His name is Shiny. He's a member of the South Crew. Well, he's the leader of the South Crew. Right, he's a he, member of about 50 bikers, 50 different bikers ride with him. He pull wedding, he do whatever the case may be. He's like the head of South Island Riders. So, I want to say again, from five? From five, yeah. We grew up through... How, how can you even fit on a bike at five? We have small bikes. We have like fifties, they call them fifties, full body, they have full body and have trails, right? We use full bodies. My nephew is eight years and he ride a full body right now. And he ride it without, he with ease. We, our father teach us to grow up in bike from, ever since small we growing up, we love bikes, right? Any bike show that we know about, we come, we have our, anytime you hear about Chinese bike show, Chinese bike show is be the largest in, in Trinidad. What is the fascination with women and bikes? Speed. Speed. When you sit down on Must a Must be more than just the speed. When you sit down on a bike and you feel that horsepower between your legs. But cars have speed. Cars have speed. What is the fascination of bikes and women? Most women that I know, somebody would be women in China that ride bikes, they just want to ride it for the fun of it, for the sake of it that, you know, they want to compete to show a man that not only a man could ride a bike, a woman could ride a bike too. And she could ride it bigger and better than them too. You understand? It has some girls in Trinidad have higher boosters which a man don't have. You understand? It have girls who do stunts. It have both. If I compare it to some of the girls in Trinidad, some of them better than some of them young riders now. You take your time on your ride. I learned growing up that you take your time, right? You don't ride to say throw on yourself. My father ride in 35 years. And out of that 35 years, my father, he even said, well, small, small crashes. You understand? And he's the most respectable rider in Trinidad. Okay, now I don't know nothing really about bikes. Mm. Say if I want to get a bike, what bike would you recommend for me to start up it riding? You start with a small bike, like a 250 or 125. You can start with a 125, right? Once you learn to balance and learn the gears, you start with a 125. After that, you go to a 250. Then from there, if you know you can handle the speed, you go a little, a 450, then a 600, then a 750, and then according to the model of the bike. It have GSXR, it have higher boosters, it have Ninjas, it have Kawasaki, it have... My okay, okay, all right, Let, let's take it back to the 125 and the 250. What model should I go for, 125 or 250? Honda. Try a Honda. That's, when you now start, 
try a Honda. A Honda to 250 or a Honda 125 trail. Start off with something small. You don't want to start with something big and then you can't handle it. You understand? That is why they say the rider starts small. Eventually, you'll get hung out and you'll start to In no time, you'll know how to ride bike. You'll grow and you, you, you will produce a bigger bike. Okay, now, uh, this is going worldwide. International and in Trinidad. Do you want to say hello? Big shout out to anyone around the world. Who do you want to say? Friends, family. Just to my sister and my friends and my sister, my two sisters on Facebook, my cousin in New York, everybody from the Trinbago Island Riders, every bike man in Trinidad, shout out to everybody, large up the Chinese crew. Have they got, like, um, are they on the internet? My father, we have everything. From, from the time you hear about Chinese crew, you will find it on the internet on the Trinbago Island Riders. We always have fathers there. In Gulf City Mall, we always have a bike display where we put only the best looking bikes on stage and we have bike displays from a distance. We have like about a hundred and change bikes for our show. So what, are they on Facebook? I don't know if they show a shirt or they on Facebook, but I know they just like tape it and put it up. Right? But I don't think they have a le legit web. You can check Trinbago Island Riders, right? And you might get it. You hear that? Trinbago Island Riders. Check it out. You've seen the green bike here. You've seen the green bike with smoke all around it and saying, well, now we've got the man here who's actually been riding the green bike. What? What? What is your name for a start? My name, my, my name is Lyndon Lewis. So how long, how long have you been doing that, them kind of skills here? Because this is just off the scale. <laughs> Roughly, what, years, two years? More than that. Four or five? More than that. Okay, okay. So, 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 it's a Kawasaki what? 600, um, ZX, ZX6R. Okay, so is this the sort of bike you'd recommend? If someone wants to learn how to do stunts, is this the bike you'd recommend for them? No, I wouldn't recommend this bike. Okay, so what bike would you recommend for someone who wants to learn stunts? <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> Okay, here with one of the nicest bikes I've ever seen in my life. I've seen nice bikes on TV, but in reality, wow, this looking blinging, like proper, proper. Um, my friend, here, are you, are you the owner of this bike? Yes, I'm the owner of the bus. Okay, what, but this, to me, this is looking like one of those, I see them shows Orange County. This is looking like one of them Orange County where they manufacture, hand build it and thing. Is, is that the score? It's a custom built bog head um, python. If you look at the, uh, the, the, the paint job, if you look at the, the, the it's an it's a American custom built bike. Okay, okay. So, unique? It's very unique. It's uh, about 300,000 US dollars. Unique price as well. Okay, because that's, that's the next question I was going to ask, if you didn't mind saying, but you've already said 300,000 what? Uh, US dollars. US? US dollars. Lumber clots! All right. Now, you see the footage we've had here today. Like, I was trying to get an interview with Lyndon, who seemed to me a bit camera shy, but, you know, we, we, we got a little piece of him. Now, these three mans here, really, three men, three men, three mans, did tell me about this event today, and I've got to thank them individually and collectively. Yes. Cody, Cody, big man in the game. How did you enjoy today? Well, today was good. Today was very good. A lot of bikes, a lot of friendly faces, a lot of people with indie family on it, the two-wheel family, and a lot of ladies. This is what we'll be talking about when you hear it a bike show, bike line. It's a gathering of family. Niceness. Rum, woman, bike, stunt, tricks. And if you don't have no money, and you have a links card in the game, if you don't have none of the above, well, you have to take a taxi, you can't come on a bike. Because a bike... A bike is not for poor man, a bike is only hard to maintain, you think? Know? But they are talking about just enjoyment. I hope always stay tuned and always come through with my boy English and we do it thing right today. So we just do it. They did two wheel fraternity. They did two wheel family here. Yeah. You understand it? Well, he ain't lying about money thing. And as you, you saw earlier, 300,000 US. I ain't sure about that. 300,000 US. How much house you can get for that? For that bike? I don't know. Mr. Elliot. Mr. Elliot, please come into the dance. 
like you, that. you really, you were the one who told me all about this. What? I, I, you doing? Before I go to Mr. Elliot, I would just like to say that this guy is one of the best friends that somebody could ever have. I had an unfortunate incident. I wouldn't say accident, unfortunate incident, and he put me on the right path to say, hey, "Don't worry about that. Get up, ride again." Thank you very much. And together with the little experience, pointers the man give, it has made me a better rider. I am not, I am, believe you me, I have a lot to learn. But every time I move with this man, I go home saying that I learned something new. And honestly, every time you go out with him, he's make sure you reach back safe. Yes, yes, Elliot, big man in the game. I know a cyclist, Rishi, who enough people tell me, I've never seen him ride personally, but like enough people tell me back in the day, enough, back in the day he was a big cyclist and I've heard Elliot talk about Rishi and like, um, yeah, back in the day he was a big cyclist, he's an old man and yeah, he always talks about Elliot, Elliot always talks about Rishi, Elliot, big cyclist, you enjoy yourself today and tell me a little bit about this function here. Man, talk to it. talk and you talk about bikers and you talk about fun. You talk about I always again I, 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 I go back to my one good best statement. The adrenaline rush. Man, it's enormous. Women, biking and trust me, the bike will have a lot of love. We love that it have no car fraternity, no Aeroplane fraternity have this kind of gathering and love that we share because it's a high risk because you could ride with our brother today, we'll ride with our brother now and things do happen but we prefer the best so we ride another day and we always ride hard, 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 we do ride hard and I'm telling you we make it the best and every time I come out whether it's a new rider, whether it's with the most experienced riders I go with it's always the adrenaline rush that goes with it. And I must say, big, big up to, to Mr. English, Eric, as better known as Eric, right? But we know more know my English, right? Better known as English. I must say, we must give him a heart, hearty thanks for what he has done today. And I must say, in time to come, hope that he stay with us and get the, the best out of what we do which is having lots of fun with our bikes riding real hard and getting the best of the adrenaline rush that anything i'm elliot i'm elliot on the toxic riders s m s m t t bado signing off Bow, bow. And you know what? I like the way Elliot holding the mic like this. Yeah, that looking kind of rude. That looking kind of professional. I like it. Yeah. I might have to teeth this style here. Yeah. SMTC signing out. Big. Big.